Is Zek ready for the 26 March elections and the 2023 general elections? Hello and welcome to JCTV Africa, where we look at issues that are happening around Africa and Zimbabwe in particular. We're looking at this particular case of Zek versus the opposition party. Over the weekend in the Premier League, there were two incidents that sparked controversy. The first one is of my team, Chelsea which was playing against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup, where an offside was ruled against Romelu Lukaku. That sparked a bit of controversy, which might have won Chelsea the cup. There is also another controversy of the panel that was not awarded by the VAR, which Rodri handled the ball inside the 18-yard box. Let's look at this issue, comparing it with Zek. We see here the spirit of the sport coming to play. Pep Guardiola, who is the one who had a player who committed the foul, is admitting that the referee made a mistake. Also, on the part of Everton manager Frank Lampard admitted that the referee should have made decision. So, we see here two parties that are playing fairly, knowing that they don't want to win a match while somebody is aggrieved and that issue is not addressed. Also, the chief of referees in the FA has apologized to Frank Lampard, showing that there is mutual understanding that they need to be fair play in the game. Coming back to the issue of Zek versus the Citizens Coalition for Change, Pachedo allegations that is being leveled against Zek. We have seen the press conference that was held. We can see that Zek denying all these accusations, even though there is overwhelming evidence that shows that Zek is in the wrong. They are saying, we do not answer to you, we answer to the parliament. That is according to the chief of Zek, Priscilla Chigumba. What does it mean? Even if there is a slightest of mistake, even if the concerns of CCC are not genuine, they must be addressed. If there is, is any mistake, Zek has not reformed themselves since 2018. Since they have not reformed themselves, they are supposed to police ZBC. They are supposed to watch if the elections is going to be free and fair. So that tomorrow, the children of Zimbabwe are not going to cry because of Zek. But if Zek keeps on denying all allegations, not accepting responsibility, not trying to look at the slightest of the mistakes to say, let us have a look at this and see if it holds any water. We know candidates complain. We are not trying to be like this. But what I'm trying to say is that Zek should be able to look at these issues and not turn a blind eye on them. Because by turning a blind eye, they are not operating in fairness. And also the ruling party should be able to question the issue of the voters role. But if we see the ruling party relaxed, it means that everything is going according to their favor and they don't want to play fairly. That's all that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think about Zek? Do you think that they are going to be fair in the upcoming elections? Or we are going to see the same old playing again of three months without announcing the results. Thank you. I'll see you on the next episode. In the meantime, please subscribe and share this video with your family and friends.